Hello guys, it's me, Mama Mitchell, and I'm here at Tatty Lashes today to create some Halloween looks. This being one of them, a very glam, scary, colorful clown. Almost like if a clown wore lashes, this is what they'd look like. I've actually used the Abby Roberts collection, which I am in love with. I am actually a bit angry that I didn't create this collection, but ah oh well, ah oh well. Well done, Abby, you killed it. You really did. So if you wanna find out more about this very fun look, keep on watching, guys. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start on the brows and I'm just gonna really br brush them upwards and really press them down. I feel like, cause I'm gonna do quite blown out eyeshadow, the more flat that my eyebrows are, the better. Okay, so then I'm just gonna finish off the brow and again, this is a very heavy Halloween look. So. You want, it, you want your makeup to stay on all night long. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my lash glue. I'm gonna take a little bit of a spoolie, literally just rub it into the spoolie. It should almost disappear into the spoolie. You don't need to really see it. And then I'm really just gonna press on the brows and it'll really just keep them brows up until you take them down. <laughs> this is amazing if you've got like quite crazy brow hairs that maybe don't tame with just a brow gel. Eyelash glue is the best brow gel you'll ever use. And if you're worried about getting it out of your brows, just use an oil-based cleanser and it literally just breaks it apart. Don't, don't think it's not gonna come out because it definitely does. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes for this one just because I kind of wanna make sure that I've got my eye as crazy as I can get it and I feel like then I won't mess up my skin. So for this one, because it's gonna be a bit more of a complex eye, I'm just gonna make sure that I've done my eye work first. I'm just gonna buff some concealer all the way over the lid. This is more so just to give it a nice even base because then I'm going to go in with some gels and paints in a minute to really, really sculpt the eye and get it looking nice and spooky. Right, so I've got a bit of a blue paint which I'm going to use and I'm just going to apply this straight into the crease. And if you're struggling to find your crease, just pull up a little bit on the brow and it really opens up that space. I'm going to pull this all the way to the inner corner of the eye and it's gonna go all the way out towards the brow. We're doing clown realness, so do not be afraid of taking this out crazy. It's Halloween, it's the one time of the year we can actually blend our eyeshadows out to our temples and nobody say anything. Not that I don't do it all other days of the year as well, but you know, now we've got a reason to. And I'm just gonna get a clean brush and just soften the edges. And then we can go in with our shadows. Okay, so we're gonna go in with my new palette, Do you Want Some Milk? So I'm gonna use this blue called Bluebells. And I'm just gonna start blending this over the top of the paint that we've applied. And this will really eliminate any, um, any fallout as well because your shadow will be sticking straight to the paint. So it almost makes the shadow process kind of foolproof. Take some of the pink, Black Toast. And I'm gonna blend this into the inner corner. I'm gonna take some green, soured, and I'm gonna put this on the outer corner. Right, okay, so now I'm gonna start by cutting the crease, um, but just before I do that, I'm just gonna give it a little wipe, just to make sure it's super clean, and that way my cut crease will be so, so sharp. So for this look, I kinda want it to be all about contrast. So it's super important that when we're cutting the crease, we're getting it nice and sharp. So then we can have that contrast and then when I add the lashes, the lashes will really just completely take it there. I'm just gonna buff over these edges just to make sure that that cut crease is super even and there's not any more product in other areas than there is in the others. This is really important when you're doing a cut crease. I'm gonna translucent powder and just tap that all over where I've cut the crease. Then while I'm here, I'm also gonna take this into the waterline. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a black liner and I'm gonna line where we've cut the crease because that's where we're gonna add our lashes. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe any fallout away and just tidy up my wing if I need to. Okay, coming back to this shadow palette, I'm gonna take an orange. And I'm just gonna buff this here on either side. And then the yellow as well. And that's gonna go right in the center. This is gonna kind of connect it all. Now I'm going to work on the skin um, before I finish off the eyes just so then I've got something for the rest of my eyes to blend into because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the lower lash line so it's going to make the eyes look huge but I need to do the skin before I do that. Okay so now I'm just going to take some concealer and the reason that I'm using a concealer is just because I feel like a thicker consistency sometimes lasts a lot longer and I'm just going to run this concealer all over the face. I'm just gonna take some concealer. And I'm not gonna go completely white on the complexion. Setting powder, just with a brush and just tap it on. I don't wanna set the skin too much because I still want it to have a little bit of a tack to it. So then I can still apply color on top of the cheeks. Coming back to my yellow. I'm just gonna tuck it right into that inner corner. I'm gonna start to pull it down as if it was tears. And then I'm gonna follow through with the rest of the colors that I've used as well to kind of give it a kind of like blend through to the tear that I've done. I almost want it to look like the clown has been like crying eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm going to take a black pencil into the waterline. And this is where our clown details really start to come into it. I'm going to buff out that black just with a clean brush to begin with. Okay, so now I'm going to add the real clown details. So kind of like the points that come down and up from the eyes. So I'm going to give myself like a bit of a finishing point. Like that. That's kind of where I want it to end. I'm going to aim towards this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Double Trouble Liner and I'm just going to use this to add like my points and the really, really kind of detailed bits. I want to do a little dot just at the end of this point, but again, because it's got such a fine, precise tip, it's just so easy. And I don't know what it is about the dots, but as soon as the dots get added to the face, it just says clown. While we're here, I kind of want to do a little dot at the end of the liner as well. Okay, so now I'm going to do the points on this side. So instead of going down on this side, I'm going to go up. So I'm actually going to start from where that liner is at the crease, so close. I'm going to go up through the brow. I'm gonna buff underneath the eye with some face powder. I'm gonna take this hot pink. I'm gonna get Anna to smile. And just press that pigment onto the cheeks. Then I'm gonna get a bit more of a bigger fluffier brush and go in with yellow. Just hit that around the edges. So I want this bit to be a little bit messy, a bit artsy, you know what I mean? So I've got a little bit of a base on the back of my hand. You could use a lipstick for this. And I've just got it onto my brush, but tried to get it quite like almost not continuous, like a bit skippy. And I'm just going to literally use this as a bit of a kind of shape to the face this way. Exact same technique, just apply it in a different place. Now I'm just going to take some of this purple eyeshadow and just use this to kind of blend the forehead a little bit into the hair. Again, it doesn't need to be completely perfect for this. I actually quite like it when it looks a bit more messy. It's like you've been clowning around in a box of crayons or something. And I'm gonna get some orange shadow. Just like that. Bring that right underneath there. At this point, I'm kind of just adding things wherever I feel like can do with a bit of a pop. I'm going to grab some of this shade called Milky. This has got like a bit of a green highlight to it. It's just going to really give some dimension to this look. I'm 
Okay, so now we're gonna add some lashes and I'm gonna use the Tati Lashes and Abby Roberts Style Evolution. Guys, when I say these, I've probably become my favorites. Like, maybe even on par with my own lashes. Like, these are such special lashes. The whole collection is special. I just love how they're so separated, but still so fluffy and full. And I love how you've got like longer at the ends and the shorter in the front. I just feel like this way you can customize it a lot more than what you what you normally would be able to. Okay, just before I apply any lash, just close. I'm just gonna run the Double Trouble Liner, the shade black one, just along the lash line so then my lash can stick on quickly. And then what I did just to fit the eye, I trimmed a little bit of a cluster off. So, so then I don't have to waste it. I'm just gonna put it on top there, just to give it even more curl. Okay. I'm taking it back to like 2019 days where I used to stack like four pairs of lashes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the individual sections of the Abby Roberts collab. Wow, this is just so genius. I love individual lashes as already, but this is just like a whole different level of individual lashes. I'm obsessed. I'm actually going to put these on the black line that we've done to cut the crease. So then when she opens her eyes, it's almost like a double bit of lash. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over my lower lash line with a bit of the glue. It is also a liner. And I'm just gonna paint that on just so then it's easy for me to then add my other lashes. So to finish off the look, obviously we're going to do a lip and I don't feel like a clown look is actually finished without a pointy lip. So we're going to work on that. I'm using a gel liner to do this. I like a gel liner because you can blend it with different things, whereas sometimes lipsticks I feel like crack, whereas gel liners are like meant to be blended and built and blended and built. So they're really good to um, use for this kind of work. So now I'm gonna take some shimmers. I'm gonna buff this over the lip. Give it a really beautiful gunmetal kind of look. So now I'm just gonna add some yellow accents to the dots that we've already done. Looks straight up. Just to really add a little bit of dimension to those areas. Also, just gonna give it a little bit of a an accent there on the lip, and then an accent there as well. And then, just to finish it off, I'm gonna go back in with a bit more of milky, and just apply more of this in certain areas, just so then when she turns, turn that way, you get a really beautiful glow. Okay guys, so I think all we're missing right now is a wig to really just take it there. I don't know if we can put anything else on her face, so let's put some on her head. Let's go put a wig on and we'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so we've got our wig on and honestly, Anna looks like a different person, just a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you love this look. And if you guys wanna get your hands on any of the lashes, especially the Abby Roberts lashes, which is what I've used today, then do it in the Halloween sale. Make the most out of it. Get as many packs as you can and put them all on one face like I did. Happy Halloween. Thanks guys. <laughs>